Hi viewers, welcome to our YouTube channel Electrical Lectures. In this video, I will be showing you how to compute eigenvalues and eigenvectors for a given matrix or system. I will be showing you how to compute eigenvalues and eigenvectors in a very easy way with the help of an example. So let us start. As an example, let us assume that the matrix that we are going to consider is a 2 cross 2 matrix 2 minus 1 minus 1 and 2. So the first step is to compute the eigenvalues and for this we need to find a determinant which is lambda i minus a determinant and put it equal to 0. Here this A is our system matrix, this I is the identity matrix and this lambda are the eigenvalues. So for this particular example, let us now solve it. So we have lambda 0 0 lambda in the form of a matrix minus the system matrix which was 2 minus 1 minus 1 and 2 and the determinant of this matrix we have to put it equal to 0. So here we will have lambda minus 2 1 then in the second row we have 1 and here lambda minus 2 and this is determinant now we will find the determinant which can be written like this lambda minus 2 whole square minus 1 equal to 0 so just open this square it is lambda square minus 2 lambda plus 4 minus 1 equal to 0 So it will be lambda square minus 2 lambda plus 3 equal to 0. Now this is a characteristic equation which we need to solve. And the solution of this characteristic equation comes out to be lambda minus 1 into lambda minus 3 equal to 0. So we will get lambda 1 equal to 1 and lambda 2 equal to 3. So these are our two eigenvalues corresponding to the given system. Now in step number 2 we will be finding the eigenvectors and definitely eigenvectors will be equal to the number of distinct eigenvalues. For this system matrix, we have two distinct eigenvalues, so we will be having two eigenvectors. And to find eigenvectors, the governing equation is similar. It is lambda i into identity matrix minus system matrix A multiplied by x, which is the eigenvector, and it is equal to 0. So here, i is equal to either 1 or 2. So we will be putting one eigenvalue at one time to compute a single eigenvector. So first of all, let us put the first eigenvalue which was lambda 1 is equal to 1. So here if you put this value, it will be 1, 0, 0, 1 which is equal to identity matrix minus system matrix which was 2 minus 1, minus 1 and 2 and we have to multiply it with the eigenvector which is x. So let's suppose the entries of this eigenvector are x1 and x2 and it is equal to 0. So it will become minus 1, 1, 1 and minus 1 and multiply it with 
x1 x2 equal to 0 0 because the right hand side is basically zero vector so now just simple matrix multiplication it will result in minus x1 plus x2 equal to 0 we call it equation 1 and similarly x1 minus x2 equal to 0 we call it equation 2 now from equation 2 it is clear that x1 is equal to x2 it means both the entries of the matrix are the same so in eigenvectors you have to assume one value for any entry of the eigenvector so here if we take x1 equal to 1 then it will directly mean that x2 will also be equal to 1 therefore the first eigenvector x is equal to 1 1 but in linear algebra we also make sure that each eigenvector is orthonormal to the other eigenvectors which means that the norm or the magnitude of each eigen eigenvector must be equal to 1. To do this you have to normalize the eigenvector with the magnitude of the eigenvector. So in this case the magnitude of the eigenvector is equal to square root 2. So therefore the modified eigenvector will be equal to 1 over square root 2 and 1 over square root 2. So this is the first eigenvector. A similar process can be repeated to have the second eigenvector. In our case the second eigenvalue lambda 2 was equal to 3. So we have to solve the same equation for lambda 2. So lambda 2 i minus a multiplied by vector y which is the second eigenvector is equal to 0. So that is the complete process to compute eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to our channel Electrical Lectures.